Hey there, my name is Ben. And in this video, we're gonna walk through the process to create and send a document using Pandadoc. So whether you're new to Pandadoc or if you just need a refresher, this video is for you. Let's jump right in. I'm just gonna start out in the dashboard here and I'm going to show you the different ways you can go about creating a document from your proposal template. So the template's already been created ideally, that'll be in your template library over here. And then you're wanting to create a document from that template. So to go about doing that, you've got an option up the top here, create new, that'll pop open a uh, window, which looks like this. And you can go ahead and select your template from quick access. It might be shown here or otherwise in your template library here. If you're starting from absolute scratch, you can go about creating a document from a template with using the gallery options on the side here. But so we can go ahead and we can we can select it here. I would use this this demo template and you'll add that and then you'll go ahead and add the recipients and the, and the content. You can also go create document from here and it pops open exactly the same window. The other option is to go to the template library here and actually find the template that you'd like to use out of all your templates. And I'm going to just use this one here and go ahead and create a document from that directly there. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a document this way. And I'm gonna add myself as the recipient and also the sender. And I'm gonna go ahead and go continue. So the other thing we're gonna go through is, I mean, this is, this is basically it with regards to creating the document. The other thing we'll go through is the sending of the document, how you go about doing that. So very simply, that's how you create the document. It's basically ready to go and you'll add in your elements, whatever you need to add in. And then, and then you're basically, you're good to go. So I'm um, sending a document. So we'll jump back to the main area here and we'll go ahead and go create new. And we'll again, use that same template, which is, you will see now has appeared in the quick access area. Go ahead and add that there. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to add the recipient as a different email address and sender can still be me, which is fine. And go about doing it that way. Okay, so now you'll see that what's presented here is exactly the same setup. You'll still make your amendments to the, the details in here. Maybe you can see that the company name hasn't populated here. So I'd go here and add that in. You can also add that on the variables tab, just as a side note. And that will populate wherever that company name variable is in the document. You'll go ahead and you'll, you'll send it from here. So you've got a couple of options. You can send via email or text message. You can also do a link. Typically, people using CRMs would mostly, I would say, send via link because you'll use your CRM or you'll otherwise send it via an email directly to the client and say, you know, so-and-so, thanks so much for your meeting. You know, uh, here's your proposal and you'll, you'll drop it in as a, as a link in your email. The other option is to send it directly from, from, from Pandadoc or using, using the Pandadoc platform. So you'll go ahead and you will click email and you'll uh, fill in the variable fields if you need to. In this instance, I'm just gonna mark them as blank. And then you'll go ahead and check everything's correct. Add verification if you need to. You might have a passcode, you might have a text message um, to ensure that the, uh, the document is verified before the client uh, can access and sign it. And go ahead and go continue. And then you're given this, this option is basically the same as in a very basic email client. It shows you, you know, who's sending it at the top here to who you're sending and then also anybody that's been CC'd, CC'd in on this. So what you can do here is you can use email templates that can be in your library. You can create them within here and it could be like, you know, sales template one. Uh, you might have, hi, X, thanks so much. It's a, you get the point. You, you would add in your, your, your email like this. And then you can use this template like so, and it will populate in here. So that's an, that's an option there. What we can do, what you can do also is just, just type directly into this field, like so. Okay, so you get the idea there. So you've got options down the bottom here. When you do it via this method, the you can basically refine the expiration reminders and forwarding suggestions and renewal down the bottom here. So you can change, change these settings. You've got the option of doing text, but you need to add the phone numbers and whatnot. Well, I don't have those connected at the moment, but you can see here, you can send by email, reminder in certain number of days, and then repeat reminders. You've also got forwarding. You'll see that it's pretty, uh, you know, self-explanatory. It allows you to forward, to, uh, sorry, to send the recipient to forward to, to another recipient, and then signature forwarding if you want, you know, you're sending it to 
someone in the business that wasn't able to sign, but they're gonna send it to the person who can sign, that kind of thing. You've also got suggestions and you can do suggestions in Pandadoc directly and you can use Microsoft Word for suggestions as well if needed. Renewal is if you want a renewal set, you can do that within this setting here, basically to enable notifications within Pandadoc. If you were selling, for example, licensing of any kind, you could use renewals and you could set it up yep, 12 months from this date. I need a notification to resend the, you know, the renewal to the client to make sure that they're on top of payment for the, for the licensing that you have. And you can have uh, yourself to send, you know, 60 days, 90 days, whatever it happens to be before that. So those are the options you have here. Send the document, it will then send to the client. That's how that works. The other option is link. So as I said before, this is quite popular. Under link, um, you are basically given the option to rename your document if you need, and you can add in, you know, do March 2025. And then that's the option there. You'll see the document, whether it um, has a payment associated to it. If you've got a uh, quote payment table in there, you'll see that for the recipient noted at the top here and then basically it's got the same options here you can then go ahead and click generate links so uh, so you can edit this exactly the same way as you would before when you generate a link it automatically makes the document in a, a sent status so if you've run any automations in the background that pick up when the document is sent then change a deal stage in your CRM or you know trigger a certain workflow in any in any way those those events will trigger basically when you click that button so it's 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 in send format now the document signer link is at the top here and if you have anyone cc'd and you want to send it directly to them and say hey here's your cc copy so that you can then track when the signer has seen it but also the the you know the the support basically or, or the person who's cc'd has seen it as well you can you can send them a direct link in this manner so that is basically it you copy add it in as a, as a link into your email and then you're good to go once you click done you'll be able to see here that it is sent and this is the screen that's presented up the top here is how you'll know that it's sent and then you're given the option to share the links again if you want to jump in there you can sign in person if you're doing doing in-person stuff like notary or any of you know any service where you where you run through the proposal with the client and then and then have them sign or otherwise you can go ahead and edit the document in here as well and if you need to add anybody else you can go ahead and do that by by uh, adding recipients in here cool so that's basically that um very quickly you've got an audit trail trail and analytics on the side here they're not the topic of this video but we're basically we're just running through how to create the document so you've got those options that i mentioned earlier in the video to create and then also how to send it so we've run through creating and sending hopefully that is pretty clear to, to you guys. If you have any questions, just drop them in the comments and I will see you again in another video. Thanks so much. Bye.